Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Ark the Lad Twilight of the Spirits with me, Ultra Gamer J. In our last episode, we step we set foot in the surprisingly ni nicer than I thought it would be refugee camp of Barbadoth. I mean, I'm sorry to sing this like, warehouse or storehouse's praises, but it actually looks pretty nice. Although that support beam being right in front of being in the doorway is a bit of a... That's concerning. Also, in the last episode, I completely for missed the mummy that was laying on its back when it was in plain sight. That, that we are now heading to. And I think the best... And I think the reason as to why is because, well... When I record, I have the window for, like, the game. As I'm playing it, I did not have it at full size, so... Yeah. The fact that I was able to make it that far with that setting... I don't know if that says something good about me or bad. But enough. But enough, um. Oh. What's the word? Stalling, maybe? Let's talk to this corpse! If the Great Fu Start knows all, then can he answer this question for me? If I were to eat myself, would I become um, twice as big, or not exist at all? One in the fancier bed is Fustart. Or is it Fustart? Eh, minor detail that's not that important in the grand scheme of things.
think we know everything we need to now. Now we get to perform our own little Indiana Jones journey. This should be fun! Though it's probably a shame we'll never get to hear hear Dark say, Why did it have to be snakes? I guess we will need the flutes after all. Things were already bad, I just needed to know how bad. But before we enter the Pyramid Ruins, we need to explore this mountain. For completion's sake. and to get experience points. Those always help. The Davos. So you defy me. Take this. Oh wow. Ugh. That did some serious damage. No, oh, that's not gonna work. Come on. It's more than luck. I'd say it's skill. Or actually toughness. Yeah, definitely toughness. Definitely. <laughs> Are you ready for me, kitty? Probably be in the best interests to have Camellia back bulk up. Pretty flower. Huh. Oh, this is even worse than I imagined. Is that it? Ah! 
It's over for you. Yeah! Damn it! That all you got? For a second I thought I saw an aura flare up from that ogre, Deimos. That would not have been good. Baby Dora can finish it off. But Delma is in need of healing. Guess it's time for some healing. Well, oh, shit. <laughs> Aw, no multi head. I was supposed to be the baby Dora. Time for battle. And again, might as well. Witness the rage of the lupine. Strength. Cure. This is kind of uncomfortable. Frau. It's over for you. Special delivery. I the door. Wait, I should know how how much damage it has. Oh yeah, uh, uh, that, that probably warrants a blackout attack. Darkness, lend me your power. Blackout. Take 
Holy shit, that actually applies. So you defy me. I was not expecting that death ant ne nectar to actually work in the entirety of using it. I'm glad it it. I'm glad it did. Okay. I just didn't expect it to actually happen. So you defy me. Take this. <laughs> Boy, this team has its work cut out for it. Now that that horrific incident of terror is over with, let's go get ourselves a nice drink of water. Because we've earned it. Line like, like good Samaritans or um, law-abiding citizens, or whatever the closest thing it thing Deimos have to law is. We're going to be polite. That's a much better way of saying it. What the? What the? This stupid joy. Stick. I swear to frickin' Christ. No, after you, sir. Damn it. Frickin' controller lag. I did. Let's see what that did to us. It healed all our HP! See? My dear audience, it pays to drink water. Well, not monetarily, but you get my point. Always remember to stay hydrated. That little, um, how do I put it, little tourist attraction out of the way, I think I will end the video here. This has been Ultra Gamer J signing off, hoping to see you all in the next video, and please remember to like and subscribe for more content.